guys, what's up? Today I'm going to be doing a foundation review. Not a first impressions, a foundation review. So I'm not going to be showing you the palette foundation looks throughout the day like I do in the first impressions, but I am going to be telling you my full thoughts after I've tried this foundation forever. Forever. So the foundation that I'm talking about today is, is the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. This is a super, super affordable foundation. You can find it on their website and they just recently launched this foundation at the Dollar General or anywhere that they sell LA Colors. Check there as well. So this is the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation. It retails for $6, you guys. This costs $6, okay? Six dollars. This isn't super, super new. I think this came out um, last fall, uh, but it's new to me and I barely heard about it and it's starting to get a buzz. So the two shades that I have here is golden beige and medium beige. Today I'm using mostly medium beige and a tiny bit of golden beige. I find that that is my best match, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick medium beige because I feel like this one's too orangey. I don't know. What do you guys think? But uh, I like these two together and I don't mind having these two because it's only $6 a piece. So $12 for the price of a regular drugstore foundation. I get twice the amount and I get a more better, like I can mix and get a better shade for myself. It does come in 14 different shades. It comes with 1.35 fluid ounces. It has a pump just in case that means nothing to you. Usually foundations come with one fluid ounce. So they give you a tiny bit more than usual, which is really, really nice. And it is a kind of hard plastic. It's not glass. I'm going to read really quickly what LA Colors claims, and then we'll get started with my full thoughts on this foundation. So the company doesn't say much about it. It just basically says the long wearing high pigment formula applies as a liquid and blends into a beautiful matte powder like finish. It's available in 14 different shades. So um, I do think that they did a pretty good job with the shades. I think that for being a drugstore foundation and as inexpensive as it is, they came out with 14 shades. I've had foundations that only had eight or three or four and they're more expensive than this. So uh, I think the shade is really, really nice and it was easy for me to find my shade. I felt like they have a good range. I think they have a good range. I think they could expand it, but they have a good range. So um, it is, it claims to be long wearing. It claims to be high pigment, which I'm guessing is high coverage. And uh, I do think that it has a lot of coverage. I think that it's buildable as well. I like to do thin layers. And uh, I do think that it's super, super, super long wearing for drugstore foundation. Just for any foundation in general, this one does a really good job with being long wearing. So I applied it today and um, at like nine in the morning and it's five o'clock in the afternoon and I think it still looks flawless. I didn't touch up, I didn't do anything like that and I feel like it still looks really, really, really good and I've been getting so many compliments today because of the foundation. Just It makes your skin look so flawless. So um, it does dry down to a matte powder finish. I have dry skin, dry to normal skin. I don't have any dry patches today, but I don't think that I need to set this foundation. I did set it today and I'll kind of go into that a little bit later, um, but you definitely don't need to set it. If you have oily skin, I think you're going to like this. If you have dry skin, I think you're going to like this. Um, I think that it's just a really, really great foundation. There, I said it. I love it. I love this foundation. So I had to come on here and tell you guys about it. So First off, the way that I love to apply this best is with a brush. I get the best coverage um, and it just looks so smooth and flawless that way. So I definitely recommend with a brush, although it does look great with a beauty blender as well, um, but I love it with a brush. I, when I first, so I've tried this so many different ways. I've tried different powder, powders, different primers. I've tried it without any powder. Um, I've tried it without, with just a regular Angel Veil primer. I've tried it without any sprays, and I think it looks lovely all different ways. So no matter what way you like to wear your foundation or your makeup, what you like, whether you like spray, whether you don't, whether you like primer or you don't, I think this is a good foundation. I think it will look really beautiful. Now, I'm gonna tell you my personal favorite way to wear this foundation. Just, it's just, I think it looks the most flawless and beautiful ever, but it looks flawless and beautiful ever on its own. So however you're gonna do it, it's gonna look gorgeous. But this is my personal favorite, favorite way to use this. So. First off, I do this with any matte foundation or any foundation period, but I use the Mario Badasco Facial Spray with Aloe, Chamomile, and Lavender. I've mentioned this before. I really like this 
primer spray, the spray in general, it really hydrates the skin. So I put this on first, then I'll go in with a primer. And I love using this with a sticky primer. It just makes it look super flawless and last super long. Even though it does last me 10 hours easy, it will just look the best that long when I use a sticky primer. And my favorite is the Fursali Unicorn Essence. So this kind of gives a tiny bit of a tacky finish once it kind of starts to dry. And I love using this with this. I think it's just, it makes it look so gorgeous and so flawless. I just love it. I just absolutely love this. I know it's a little bit pricier, but it's what I use today. And I think it just made it look so much more amazing. And it when I used that primer, I felt like it was a tiny bit on the tacky side. So I set my whole face with the LA Colors Mineral Press Powder, just the tiniest amount. I think this combination is gorgeous. If you have dry skin, this is a great powder all on its own. But uh, even if you don't, this is a great combination to try together. I think they were meant to be together. This is the shade Soft Honey. And I just, I just really love this combo. And I just lightly dusted it all over the face, just so lightly. I didn't do much powder, just the lightest amount. And I think it looks super flawless. So after I'm completely done with my makeup, I've been loving putting the Essence Keep It Perfect Makeup Fixing Spray. It just really melts it into the skin and gives it a beautiful finish that just lasts all day long. And I just really love it. I think it looks gorgeous. I found an awesome combination and I thought I would share it with you. Um, but any spray looks great on top of it. And you don't even need to have a spray. This isn't one of those foundations that you need to spray to make it look good. It sinks into the skin. It looks really nice. It doesn't sink into my cracks and wrinkles I have going on on my forehead and it doesn't sink into any of my dry patches. So I, I really do love it. A little tip, if it does kind of sink into any of your dry patches, I recommend using super hydrating primer or a sticky primer or like a hydrating stick just in that spot and just dot it on and then use a beauty blender with the foundation on top. And I find that that really fixes the problem if that is a problem. I don't know, I, when I was trying this out, I did have like a dry patch and I found when I did that, it just fixed the problem immediately. But as far as my lines and my forehead and any pores I have, this doesn't accentuate it. It blurs it, it looks beautiful, and I think you're really gonna love this foundation. I am gonna be showing you swatches of the foundation, but before I do, if you're trying to shade match and you're trying to see which shade I am, in different foundations and how I am compared to you. Check the description box. I always put high-end drugstore, a bunch of different foundations, a whole list. You can go check and see what my matches are and you can compare me to you. And uh, I always do that in every single video. So I'm gonna show you arm swatches of this compared to other of my foundations. This does oxidize a tiny bit. So I'm gonna show you guys with an old swatch and I'm gonna show you fresh swatches so you can see how much this oxidizes. Um, it only oxidizes a tiny bit. I don't find that it's a big deal to me. So um, just keep that in mind. That's why I got two shades because I thought if it oxidizes, I have a lighter shade. But it ended up being just fine. So let's look at those swatches. Okay, so this right here is the LA Colors Golden Beige. This is LA Colors Medium Beige. This is Flower Beauty M3. This is Lur or Maybelline Fit Me in 210. And this right here is NARS in Vanuatu, which is 3.5. I feel like the medium beige and the Fit Me 210 is an absolute the closest match, which is also the foundation that matches me the best. So just a little tiny bit of this to warm it up and it's perfect for me. So this is kind of what it looks like when it's dry. So I'm gonna add medium beige so you can see what it looks like. You can see how much it oxidizes here. So you can see how much it oxidizes. This is a fresh swatch and this is a fresh swatch. This is golden beige and this is medium beige. So you can see it goes like one or two shades darker. So just keep that in mind. So I did take a picture with a flash as well as in natural lighting so you guys could see what the foundation looks like and if it gives bounce back or not. Honestly, I love this foundation. I think it looks good no matter what. I think it looks good in no matter what lighting. I think it just 
lasts a long time for the price of six dollars you guys are gonna love it it has high coverage it doesn't need to be set um, if you have dry skin try not setting it if you have oily skin you might still not need to set it but you can always set it and then it will definitely do away with your oiliness throughout the day I thought I would also show you guys what it looks like um, after I don't even know how many hours so this is eight hours on my face and um, I still think it looks absolutely amazing and beautiful. This is awesome. I hope that this review was helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you like foundation videos and you like this review um also don't forget to subscribe before you guys go and uh yeah i love you guys i guess that's it for my review <laughs> and i guess i'll see you guys later bye guys